What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My name is Fitman1987, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Core Class Terracon Nova Cane from Rise of the Beasts. This right here is the second to last Terracon, and it arrived today. We have one more that we'll be showing off very soon, but uh, it's also the last Core Class of this year. That I'm getting, at least. And, uh, it's the exact same steps as Freezer. And, yes. So it's the exact same transformation, unfortunately. Um, the only thing I'll be showing off is articulation and comparisons. I ain't showing off anything else. Yeah, this one's gonna be a short review, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, it still could be fun. So... Let's open them up and see how cool we actually... Oh my god, that sculpt. Yeah, he's definitely going to be good when I get him out of the package. So, here we are with Nova Kane, and... I gotta say, he's a lot sturdier. I've been hearing a lot of people say that he is... He has tighter joints than... Than, um... Then Studio Series um, Freezer. And you know what? They're right. Like, the joints are actually a little bit more tighter, and I really do appreciate that. Also, quick side comparison between the two. Or rather, just color comparison. And it and again, it doesn't really show up that much, but... You can see he's a little bit more copper, and this one's a little bit more goldenish. And the robot modes also are going to be different, but uh, this is the only, I mean, I'm not going to psych, not going to comparison all four of the modes. And this is the exact same thing as this guy, except the head is different. And also, speaking of which, let's, uh, they actually took the time to actually break the face during the, um, the instructions. So it's not like, say, a complete copycat. Oh my god, they're, they're, uh, why is focus not working? There we go, okay, so. There we go, he turns into a turret, and then he turns into a target master. Or rather, something for the truck, which is, uh, right here. And then he turns into a target master. Yeah. Um, Scourge actually is, uh, it's a little bit different. Um, I mean, technically it's the exact same thing as Scourge. I don't know if I, well, I'm going to bring out Scourge anyway, because I still do side comparison and whatnot, and, uh, the back just kind of fell off, and, uh, yes... Before you ask, this is uh, my newly upgraded Scourge. I've yet to decide if I want any other upgrades, such as like a Toy Hacks kit or whatnot. But for the time being, this is basically what we got. And uh, yeah, that's the backdrop. Um, since the backdrop doesn't really stay for long, I'm just going to take it out. Yeet. Um, for a side comparison, well, let's, let's just bring in the other, um, figures that we've gotten for Rise of the Beast so far. So these two, these, they, these two really met, the Freezer and Nova came really didn't mess with these two a whole lot during the film, I ain't gonna lie. Um, here he is with Primal and, uh, Mainline Prime, like you see. Um, mainline Prime is soon going to change, don't worry. Um, here he is with Battle Trap and Mainline Nightbird. With RC and Wheeljack. You know what? Yeah, no, you know what? I actually like that. I like what I'm doing, because, uh, you know... 
it gives a little bit more. And then finally, we're just going to throw the others in here all at once. The last four beasts of the film. Because, uh, quite frankly, there isn't anything else after this. Do we... Oh, wait, we saw a bumblebee. There we go. Alright, and then Rhinox, Cheetor, Scorponok. I said that in the wrong order, but oh well, it's pretty much still the same thing. And then Air Razor. So, there we go. And Transformation, since it's really simple, I'll show it again. I usually don't do Transformations the same exact thing twice on videos. Especially if I have the mold, the same exact mold. But if it's something easy like this, then yeah, I'll definitely show it again. So, and it's again, it's also going to be a little bit difficult, more difficult because he also has stiffer limbs. But that means no popping off the ball joint. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Transformation is really simple, and I'm not really going to show much of it because it's really just the same old Target Master shit. So, pretty much, we're going to start with uh, turning it into the combination with Scourge. So, kind of just lift these up and just bring this down, bring that down, and then bring these up on the ball joint. And then what's basically going to happen is that you are you're going to use this and you're just going to tap it in right here. And it's kind of a little bit tricky to do. I mean, this whole figure is made of ball joints. Like, why? Well, it's to kind of fit the prospect. <sighs> okay, I don't know why this thing ain't tapping in. Was this a bad idea to do? I don't know. Okay, so it tabs in like that, and repeat on the same side. Yeah, like I said, these ball joints are a little bit more stiffer. Like stiffer than I fought, because I'm ending up trying to fight this thing. A lot more than I wanted. God. That's the scourge mode. It really isn't much. You're basically supposed to, you know, I still have scourge in Yoko mode, so let's do it. Um... You're supposed to plug them onto the back, like so. You have these. They kind of just slot right there. I don't know why it's not slotting. Okay, you know what? Use the. Okay, you know what? Take this off, and we're going to do it this way. We're going to. It's supposed to tab. Why is it not tabbing in? Give me a moment. Okay, I was tabbing in the wrong spot. It's actually this little tab back here, not this big one. So just kind of line them up. And then pretty much that's how you want it. I'm not going to spend time to 
mess with that, so moving on. Um, yeah, I actually spent time fixing it off screen because you know I still need it for side comparisons. Ah, but uh, anyways, uh, now it's time for Target Master mode, and all you gotta do is flip this out like so, and then what you want to do is bring these upwards, and then this little slot right here is going to tab right there, like so, and that's going to detach, because it does. You do the same thing on the other side, spin it up, use that small slot, And, uh, yeah, there's the Target Master mode. You know, if you want, you know what, fine. Fine, because I don't really have any others transformed at the moment. We'll do this really quickly, even though this is really not the greatest comparison we could do with this. But, uh... Oh my god. There. Primal. Holding it. I'm going to bash it later on. I don't know. Okay. Now for real transformation of robot mode. It's real simple. And also, I do a little twist as well. So, split the legs and it's kind of simple. Like. But what I also do is I spin the ball joint around. So it gives a little bit more of that wicked niceness to it. You know. Give it a little bit more of that oomph. And then spin the arms around if they haven't already. And yeah, the ball joints are really more looser and on tighter on this one. I like that. And finally, flip that down. We're going to come up here and we're going to lift this hole in section up. And then we're going to flip this in. Why is it not flipping in? Okay, so it's going to flip in like that, and it's going to collapse on the back, and there you go. There's Novocaine in his robot mode, and I really do like it. Like, I think that he is a nice figure. Now, articulation is exactly the same as Freezer. I'm sorry to say, but that what you get with Freezer is exactly what you get here, except with a little bit of a decal difference. And to top it all off, we also have um, a new head sculpt. And, uh, well, here's the two little buddies next to each other. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Look at them, aren't they a little cute? But, uh, yeah, like, the main difference is the head of, like, that is a nasty scar, and then also look at the paint. But, uh, yeah, this is, that's pretty much what you're getting with this. And, I mean, it's not a bad figure, it's just I wish it could be a little bit better. On top of that, you could officially army build, because these things were amassed in army, so... What you could do is that you could buy multiple of these off the store shelves and whatnot. I don't know. But yeah, articulation-wise, he has a ball joint for the head. Um, his head can look... Can also uh, angle forward like that. You know, like a little bit more creepier. Um, ball jointed, ball jointed, ball jointed. No waste. Uh, it's pretty much ball joints everywhere, so what you see is what you get. So, there we go. Now it's time for actual comparison. For side comparison, we are bringing in the Terracon so far. Uh, we're not bringing in the main line uh, Night. Uh, we're not bringing in the Studio Series Nightbird, even though I do have her. But we are bringing in the other Terracon, so here we go. So this is pretty much the um, the 90% uh, completed uh, Terracons. Because, well, main line Nightbird. And, uh, mainline Nightbird, who can barely stand for shit, so. And if you notice, her, uh... Yeah, she can barely stand for shit. What the hell? 
Anyways, one, she's a bit taller than she should be, and two, she's missing some parts. The reason she's missing some parts is actually related to the Studio Series Nightbird video, which is next video. Believe it or not, so spoiler alert. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what else can I say except there's that. Um, taking all the Terracons off screen and then finally getting rid of Nightbird. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, um, and Scourge's hand keeps falling off. I hate this fucking claw. I'm, I'm about to turn it into the, um, the cannon, for God's sake. But then again, I do need it for other things, so there's that. Um, how does it compare next to, uh, well, Autobots? Because we have... Did I seriously put Prom away again? What the hell? So, yeah, there's the Autobot cast. And then, yeah, that's pretty much what we see here. You guessed it, we're going to be now looking at the Maximal and Predacon cast. So, we have Primal from last review. Again, a real good figure. Air Razor, Cheetor... <laughs> Rhinox and Mainline Scorponok. So there you go. There's everyone. So enough of that. Let's get back to transformation and really transformation exactly the same. But I'm still going through it because, well, it's quite easy. So to start things off, we're just going to strain up the head, like all the way, and come back down here and bring this out. And bring this cannon out and around like so and we're only just going to one mode because uh, we started in turret mode so we're going to end in turret mode so we're just going to kind of cover the face like that and just kind of lock in a place like so and then what we're going to do is that we're just going to Bring the arms down. Bring the... This is the first time the ball joints that's popped off. It pops off on Freezer all the time, but this is the first time on Novocaine, which is saying something. That just shows how tough they are. So kind of orient them like this, and then just kind of for the legs. Kind of spin these around like so, and then just kind of make like a little hand or something. I don't know. So, spin these around, because, you know, I have the legs oriented a little differently. And spin these around like so, and then, oh, there's that back done. And then finally, to finish this up, it's just pretty much repeat the same thing on the other side with the other two arms. And just kind of bring these two together. And then, that's Novocaine. That's the end of the review. I mean, it was that simple. It's simpler than all the other figures I've been doing for the past about hour or so of recording. So, it's not that bad, but it could be better. But, that is it for this review. The next review is, like I said, is going to be of Nightbird. The Studio Series version, finally. And, can I just say that this is underrated. Because this figure is so much better than the main line. It is so much better. I've had frustrations transforming... Where is she? Where is it? Where is this pile of junk? There it is. I have transformed... You had problems transforming this piece of shit. And I'm finally through with it. So now that I have the Super Series Nightbird, and I'm also getting upgrade kits, although for now I'm using a special um, mod. For now. Um... This is my Defended Nightbird, and you can't tell me otherwise. So, that is it for this review. Thank you all for watching, and as always, to all I want.